Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 tutorial guys. This one, I'm going to show you how to make a regular fill, a regular picture like this warmer. We're going to put a warm filter on this and we're going to do it in like 90 seconds with no fancy dancy nothing. So it's very, very simple. I got this image off of pexels.com. It's a free image and you can see there's lots of blues in it. It's a nice cool looking day and we want to give it that nice orangey uh, warm fall color so here we go guys the very first step is click on the layer you want to go down to the bottom here and you're gonna see as I hover create new fill or adjustment layer let's go ahead and do that left click on that and then bring it up and then when we look through here you're gonna see photo filter yep it's that simple left click on photo filter and it actually default for me it selects the warming filter 85 now there are three warming filters that I believe are stock or default with uh, Photoshop CC 2019 we could just cycle through them the first two don't really have much of a difference and the bottom ones not much different so I'm gonna go ahead and select warming filter 85 that's a one that comes with it this might be all that you need to do to get the look you want we can go in deeper, but if we've solved your problem, feel free to click off now. Follow along if we're going further. Next, you want to increase the density to taste. Now, I'm going to go up pretty high to 50% because I want to show the difference between the original and uh, the, the filter so you guys can really see what we've done. So that is the second step, and we've already made pretty drastic changes. I turn it on and turn it off. We're definitely on the right track. Now, if you want to go in further, we're going to create another little one of these filters or part of me we're gonna create another <laughs> we're gonna create another adjustment layer but this time we're gonna work on some selective colors so it's at the very bottom left click on selective color and right now I'm defaulted to the whites but usually it defaults to the reds for me I like to work on the yellows first because yellow is sort of synonymous with um, with fall so I decrease the cyan I decrease the magenta and I of course increase the yellows quite substantially and let's see where the blacks the blacks won't do too much but this is the kind of work I would do on let's just see here yeah decrease the cyan down to about there and again we've got some more changes now we can work on some other colors so I like to work on the reds as well let's say decrease the cyan decrease magenta again we're gonna increase the yellow up 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 and a little bit black again that's starting to look a little bit over the top and yes let's go ahead and work on some of the whites as well let's see how this looks scion down that looks nice magenta magenta down actually i like that look right about there uh, the yellow i'm going to increase and then the black yeah i'm going to decrease that a little bit and again guys i don't know exactly what you're looking for how how warm you want it to be but if we take both filters off, this is what it started with. This is the second application of the photo filter. And now this is the third application of the selective colors. This is just an example of how to do it. Again, whatever colors you're looking for, whatever flavor you're going for, you guys select. These are the techniques, guys. This is how you warm up a photo in Photoshop in like 90 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Got a lot more stuff coming up. Be back soon.